What is good with y'all? You dig what I'm saying? And welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy J.I. and I'm back at it again with another banger for y'all. Now today's video is going to be hella quick, hella short. So let's go ahead and roll that intro and get straight into this banger. Let's get it. What is good, y'all? You dig? Welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy J.I. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. Enjoy the video. You dig? All right, y'all. So today, jumping straight into the video, man. Literally, should be like five minutes for this install. We're gonna be installing the new LED side markers. If you guys haven't seen that unboxing video, I'll go ahead and put a card up. Make sure y'all go tap in, go check it out. Also, um, real quick, real quick, real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the screen right now, and the link will be in the description down below. I just started the official page for the brand on instagram if you guys haven't already make sure y'all go follow that and stay tuned because that is where you'll be placing your orders that is where you'll be seeing all the updates for the brand um new drops when limited time offers are coming out giveaways and everything will be on that instagram so it's going to be on the screen right now it's official underscore byl dot shop you do what i'm saying on instagram link is in the description but without further ado let's go ahead and get straight into this video so step one you're going to want to go ahead and turn on your car and turn the wheel inward from whatever side you're going to be working on so we're going to do the driver's side first so you turn your wheel all the way to the right that way the wheel is tilted in and then we can go ahead and go outside and get straight into installing the first side marker let's right. get y'all so once you got the wheel turned all the way to the opposite side so that you have enough space you're gonna want to either if you have fender liner that actually covers the fender <laughs> you're gonna want to take that off and then grab you a flathead or a phillips head it doesn't really matter as long as it's a screwdriver something that you can get in the crevice um, because there's just a little tab that you have to pop out. Give me one second, y'all. Um, get in my screwdriver real quick. All you gotta do is you're gonna jam it in and pop that right out. Literally, just pop it right out. Once you pop that out, you're gonna take it and pull towards yourself. Now my screwdriver just fell. It's kind of hard to do this one-handed, but you guys get the gist. So let me go ahead and do it, and then I'll show you guys the next step. All right, y'all, so once you have that clipped all the way popped out, all you have to do is pull towards yourself, and the side marker comes right out. And then you just have to unclip the harness, and you'll be able to go ahead and replace it. You did what I'm saying. Straight like that. Look at all that dirt. <laughs> all those rocks and stuff get all that out while we're here and then undo this clip and pop the new one in now since i did opt for the led function um well the led bulbs you're going to want to take the bulb that comes um out of your original side marker you're going to take that bulb out and then you'll take the led and you'll plug it in just like if it was a bulb whichever direction it fits in through and then you'll go ahead and reconnect the harness and pop it back into place check to make sure that it works but look at that look at how clean that's about to look just like that y'all side marker is in and it just looks way better than this <laughs> so from that to this you feel me looks a thousand times better now we're gonna go ahead and do the rears and then I'll do the other side. I'm not gonna show you guys me doing the other side. I'll just pull it off to um, underneath the garage so we can get some shade in and you guys can see the lights lit up. Now for the rears, I'm gonna go ahead and raise the rear end all the way up because what you're gonna be doing is literally reaching underneath the bumper past the fender liner and popping out that same tab that we did on the front end to get this side marker to come out so give me one second don't mind the compressor <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah, take a little work. Slow <laughs> finally got it off. About plug the bowl in. Just like that, side marker is on. Dude, that looks so clean. That looks so clean. Sheesh, that looks clean as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side, and then, like I said, I'll pull the car um, one floor lower, and we can see it in the see the lights turn on. Sheesh. All right, y'all. I'm not even gonna lie. I can't help myself. I'm gonna go ahead and turn them on right now and get you guys a before and after. <laughs> I just want to see them on. I'm not even gonna cap. Yo, as you guys, oh, pure white. Yes, sir, pure white compared to that red and that orange. Definitely a step up. They definitely look way better. I'm not even gonna cap. Sheesh, them joints look hard. Look at that. Hell yeah. Definitely an upgrade. Alright y'all, so I got the car parked in the shade now. Look at that. Night and day difference. God damn. Them hoes look so good. Can't lie. Can't lie. Them joints. Them joints look too good. I can't even count. Get what I'm saying. Sheesh. Without further ado, that's gonna be it for this video, man. Like I told y'all, it's gonna be a stupid, quick install. Nothing crazy. Not it literally took me about 15 minutes to do all four. If you guys are interested in getting some side markers and are on the fence about you know the install for some reason, thinking that you gotta take the bumpers off or jack the car up or whatever the case may be, don't worry about it. Just get them, follow the steps that I just showed y'all. And you'll be straight like i say it's nothing crazy just some side markers but they did make a good difference i hated looking at the uh yellow side markers in the front of the car when i had the rgbw lights on it just kind of threw off the whole flow of the car now it flows real nice everything's all white but um yeah man y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below if you guys like them get this video a big thumbs up drop a comment like i say Turn on those post notifications, smash those subscribe buttons, man. Smash that subscribe button and make sure y'all tap into official underscore BYL dot shop on Instagram and get your merch. But without further ado, that's going to be it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs>